And now Dr. Wilcox is in the studio. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. It's uh, this cold, warm, cold, warm thing that we go through drives me crazy. Yeah, some people have their they'll, their um, their headaches will tell you when it's going to rain. I'm I'm not one of those people. I I'm indifferent to the barometric pressure, but some feel sorry for those people who suffer so. Yeah, there and body aches. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Some people with body aches. Uh, I'm coaching baseball again. Uh, been throwing. Uh, uh, last week alone, I think I threw about 500 batting practice pitches. Yeah, I have patches on my shoulder frequently. Wow, wow. <laughs> so one of the things, and, and it's funny you should bring this uh, up today. Uh, we're talking about uh, the communication, I guess you would say, between the eye and the brain and headache causes uh, and all of that. You are in such trouble after all these talks we've had. You said oh, the, the eye is part of the brain. There you go. Yes, I know Jeez, that. that. You don't communicate between the hand and the, the right finger and the left finger. It is it is brain tissue. And so that's part of what I'm talking about. Yes. So eye is brain. It's not, you know, it's not a communication of, you don't say you communicate with this part of the brain and that part of the brain. It's brain. Well, I, and, would, uh, I would think that they are sending messages to each other. Well, well, what I'm saying is it's it's one homogeneous unit. Okay. It's all linked. So um, you don't, you know, like the, 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 in, in the pond, the water's all together, right? So that's important for people to know. And, yes, that's that's the part of the, the theme today would be eye, brain, body, disease, headache, dementia. And I'll break these things down. Okay. And, and so for those people who... Uh, are wondering what is the optometrist talking about this for? And I think be- they I think they wonder that almost every time okay. you're in here. All right. Well, because um, the uh, in 32 years, um, I you, you get to learn the big picture. If I haven't figured something out in 32 years of practice, then then I should hang it up. But look, let's look at glasses, vision. How all do right. I see? Is it clear in the distance? What can you do to get glasses? You can go to my office. You can go to one of the chains, Lens Crafter, Pearl, my my eye doctors. You can go online and get glasses. But if you have some blinding eye disease like glaucoma or macular degeneration or optic atrophy or diabetic retinopathy or tumors, do you go online to get that taken care of? No, you don't because it's serious and you can go blind. So for the typical stuff, which you can get satisfied well or almost well enough a number of different ways, that's, that's fine and arguably okay. And, but, but the atypical stuff, the serious stuff, you want to go and, and, and do everything you can to preserve your sight. So as I've said before, no one in 32 years has sat in my exam chair and said, I'm glad I'm half blind. And every time I say this, you snicker. But for my side, when you get to see it, it's a very serious, serious thing. And so you have to act today to avoid the problems tomorrow. Most, and this is, I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. Yes, there's genetic problems and whatnot that goes on. But most of our problems are self-inflicted due to diet, nutrition, an inflammatory lifestyle, and so on and so forth. So there is a, a, another analogy. There's a pond that you're ice skating on. But over to that side, there's thin ice. Right. And, and I'm the guy who says, hey, you know, enjoy the ice skating, but don't go over there because you're going to fall through. And people will say, thank you. And then they're going to do what I'm advising them to do just because I know stuff. And I'm skate to. right over. And people will go skate in the thin ice and they'll fall through. So um, this week I had a patient in on Monday who heard me on the radio and she came in to find out through an eye exam sh- if she's at risk of having dementia. You know, I'm, done, I'm hugging her and go, oh, you get it. So, so uh, yeah, I'm doing the routine eye exam, you know, check the prescription and figure all this, that, and the other thing out. And we used an instrument that lets us measure the thickness of the nerve fiber in the brain called the retina. And, um, and there is an indicator, a linking to when you see a thin retina that there's a thin brain and the parts of the brain that are contiguous at the same as. And she was fine. And so when I, before I did it, before I, we did this scan, I said, okay, let's, let's, let's have this talk. If I find out that you have a thinned nerve fiber layer, which is, is almost, 
we're finding more and more and more with research that it's kind of almost always correlated to current or future brain problems because it's brain tissue. Um, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to be willing to do, and I listed X, Y, Z things that she can do. She said, yes. So she came in seeking um, advanced warning systems for a brain problem. And she didn't have it. That's great. But we still discussed what people should do to improve their circulation, improve their perfusion, get the dead cells out of your body. It's there's this when you have these dead and dying cells, it's kind of like trimming a tree. Right. You get the weak branches out and then the tree grows better. And and, um, and it's, it's no more uh, different than that. So that was a Monday patient who came in through my talks here on the radio, and I appreciate it. Um, By the way, Ted on the road just texted in good morning. Oh, you know what? I met Ted on the road. I didn't know he was a patient of mine. He's like, oh, hey, Ted, how you doing? <laughs> and um, so I was like, oh, you're Ted on the road. Um, so another one, migraines, okay? Yes. Okay. So we... I, th- they're, they're taking care of a number of different ways. But the best thing to do with anything is the least you have to do. You, you want to use the least complicated, the least involved, the least toxic, the least synthetic way of fixing something. You go to the root cause of the problem. And I can't tell you the number of people who have chronic and, or, and migraines, and headaches, cephalgia, head pain behind the eyes, here, there, and the other place that are fixed by aligning the eyes with some prisms and some fancy stuff we call neural lenses and or using these nutraceuticals that help your body release this stuff called nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator. So the, um, the, the body has, is a chemistry set and it needs to be, have uh, information to trigger events. An event is the dilation of a blood vessel, making it bigger, okay? One reason we have high blood pressure is because the blood vessels are small. So if you're supposed to have two-inch pipes with water going through it, and you reduce it, choke it down to one-inch pipes, the pressure goes up, okay? So if you do things that allow this appropriate release of this natural molecule in the body called nitric oxide, then you dilate your blood vessels and you avert or resolve the, the headache if it's a frequently headaches are because of vasoconstriction. And um, now when you eat a piece of green spinach, green spinach does not go to the tip of your finger. Your body breaks it down and tears it apart into component pieces into molecules and, and whatnot. And then there you get these little guys in shopping carts. And just imagine this picture. Little guys in shopping carts who are putting things in their shopping cart to build what they're responsible for building. So we have this reconstruction through our genetic code and all these different complicated processes of these raw materials. So one more analogy. You want to build 100 automobiles. You have 400 car tires, you have 100 engines, you have 200 side view mirrors, but you have one steering wheel. Well, guess what? You're only building one car. And so genetically, if, if you have this, this a, a part of the formula to build this car or build this molecule or this protein or this, this chain reaction, and you can't, you don't ingest or digest or assimilate these different components, then you're not making the end product. Half of the population or more has a genetic SNP called an MTHFR, and it tends for methotetrahydrofolate reductase. It's an enzyme that allows the green spinach to be broken down into these things called methyl groups. And these methyl groups help get rid of this toxic stuff in the body called homocysteine. And and then you, you have this cyclic pathway of, of keeping things moving, okay? We make bad stuff in our body, and we recycle it back to good stuff. And if the, there's a, back to homocysteine, there's 100 known diseases that are associated with elevated homocysteine. Back to the root cause, and, and we'll circle back around to these headaches. So if you are a person who has this genetic SNP, 50-50 chance or more, and you eat green spinach, and you can't get this methyl group, 
then and you're not going to trickle down to this this nitric oxide part then you're going to be prone to headaches you're also prone to these hundred other diseases including diabetes and whatnot so the the simple use of some good b vitamins the proper b vitamins and a ratio of other things in this formula will will and has frequently averted the problems and that's patient number two heard me on the radio came here and her story is her story 50 plus years of migraines she takes like three pills a day an injection in her leg a day and the secret sauce for her and i'm not saying this is true for everybody the secret sauce was taking this ocufolin with this formula and she loves us to death because it, it's released this this burden in this uh, that she's been suffering with for all these years and that's not true that it's for everybody, but it's for a lot of people. Um, so that's migraines. Now, if you have... It just sounds, <laughs> it sounds strange mm -hmm. saying you're going to an eye doctor about your migraines. Well, okay. But, but everything but, you're saying makes but, sense. But people will come in um, and say, I had a migraine and I lost my peripheral vision. Got it. Okay? Got it. And they'll have these occipital migraines. Okay. And so they do come to me for this. But the people come to me all the time. And, and on the case history, it's, 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 a, it's a case history. What's wrong with you? And uh, just because they have pancreatic cancer doesn't mean I'm doing anything with that. But if they have migraines, now they're in my area. Because if I'm a microcirculation guy. My responsibility to, for you to keep your vision today, tomorrow, and the rest of your life as, good, as well as possible is to make sure your circulation's good. In the body, there's no greater presence of, my, of, of small blood vessels, tiny, tiny, tiny things. One red blood cell has to, has to contort itself to get through these tiny little blood vessels. And, uh, and so since if you have a circulation problem in the in the body, it's going to affect your eyes first. It's like the canary in the coal mine. And so we see um, a lot of problems that are going to propagate themselves throughout the whole body. Dementia is called type 3 diabetes. And the number of people I tell that to, they had no idea that if you have diabetes, you have a significant increased chance of having dementia. So don't get diabetes, or if you have it, do the things you need to do to become, quote, undiabetic or have a lesser load on the family doctor who's managing your endocrinologist, managing your, um, um, working on your diabetes. So the reason the eye doctor is involved with this is your circulation problems are going to affect the quality of your vision, and it's going to be worse. And I'm here to do my job. Dr. Wilcox is an eye doctor. He does sell glasses. He does sell contacts. Uh, if you are looking for an eye doctor, his office is geared to do that. And I, and I always want to say this to, to, at a comfort level. Yes. Um, but when you come in, there may be something that he sees, and he will discuss options with you. If you're interested, great. If not, let's go pick out a pair of glasses. And thank you for restating that. And I... I I, I enjoy doing these things. I have a responsibility to do things. I, I always view myself as being the, the, your employee. You're the patient. I'm your employee. I'm supposed to do a good job. And I'm supposed to do a great job. And if we're just sticking to the routine stuff, fine, good, wonderful. But I'm always going to sprinkle. You can't get in my office without seeing these different things, videos playing and sure. this, that, and the other. And, um, and fr I'm, I'm very well received almost all the time by everybody dumb jokes and all this sort of stuff aside oh, um, oh, my dog comes to the office that. people come to my office to see my dog he comes in there most days and hanging out and inspecting people but um the um uh what else do we have um so the gentleman who came in recently who was uh who had the he had covid and on the left side of his head, he developed shingles because it's a gentleman we talked about you know, okay. last week. So he just for if people didn't hear. So gentleman, month prior to seeing me, COVID, shingles on the left side of his head and on the tip of his chin, his night sweats, his left eye didn't work right. His left eye didn't close right. He had Bell's palsy. He the left side of his tongue didn't work right. He lost his sense of taste. And if he brushed his teeth, he had a gag reflex, and there was a couple other things. He came in, and since he's got eye problems, I get to raise my hand and say, okay, I'm going to help you with your eye problems. 
and in and in and using these bioelectric signals in these magnetic fields, which are used out there, and if people don't know about it, then you know it's there. Um, in one visit by that night and the next morning after talking to him on Monday of, of two weeks ago, um, 80, 90 percent of his problems were gone. And he's been in a few other times, and we're he's like 95 percent better. And, and it's because of the same reason I'm talking about these headaches and this MTHFR stuff. And we go to the root cause, and the best thing to do to fix anything is to do the least you have to, the least toxic way, and that's where I spend my day. Dr. Wilcox is located down at the point. As always, we appreciate you being here. Uh, be back in a couple of weeks. We got to set up some other dates. Sounds great. And uh, all you, what are, what kind of office hours are we doing now? Well, it, we're 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 somewhere around eight thirty to five o'clock, accepting appointments. We work different hours, different days of the week. So you know, call in advance. Call in advance, or just stop by. Yeah, we try. We scooch on, at three on. Fridays and four on Thursdays. And today's Thursday. It's our paperwork day. Scooch on th- uh, three. Well, you know, we, we work hard all week, and we have I, I have six staff members. We got to keep busy, and today's our paperwork day. We spend all day with, in an office meeting, and then just catching up on all the stuff we create all week long. It's it's you know it's a busy practice, and it's you got to sharpen the saw, and you just can't cut wood all day. <laughs> I love your analogies. All right, Dr. Wilcox, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. If you or your loved one suffer from macular degeneration, then you're aware of three things. You likely take a 2006-derived AREDS-2 formula supplement. Two, regardless, the disease usually progresses. And three, advanced cases of the disease require routine injections of drugs deep into the eye. The good news is the AREDS2 researchers just published a major review and presented a new AREDS3 formula. It so happens that formula already exists in the medical food called Ocufolin, which our office has promoted for over five years. This formula is more likely to slow, stop, and even reverse the progression of macular degeneration. Learn more. Come by the Wilcox Eye Center at 2652 George Washington Memorial Highway in Hayes or call us at 804-642-9800, 804-642-9800.